everyone welcome back to the next video in this video we will be starting uh, to learn a game engine called gado now gado is a 2d and 3d uh, game engine from which you can develop 2d 3d games and it runs on all types of desktop like mac os windows linux uh, like the engine as well as the game which you create and the game also the game if you create by gado also runs on android ios and web as well so yeah it is possible to run it on uh, like playstation and uh, nintendo xbox as well but that process is much more uh, involved and uh, you might have to do your own research on that uh, but yeah let's uh, get started like we will create a simple game uh, if you are running on windows that's fine if you are running on linux that's fine uh, process will remain the same just download the gado game engine and just create one project the renderer can be anything while uh, creating the project so here i have created one project also i'm using this uh, asset pack from kenny.nl again uh, uh, like i'm not sponsoring kenny.nl or he is sponsoring me uh, that's not how it works uh, like uh, uh, this guy has a lot of free and cool assets and i just wanted to make uh, use of them uh, in case you haven't checked out kenny.nl do check out his uh, this website again not sponsored by kenny.nl uh, so yeah let's get started so first what i'll do is that i have downloaded all the assets from kenny.nl and then i'll create one folder called assets and firstly we will require a few assets so here i have the assets so in from background i'll take this uh, dark purple and purple.png and i'll just drag and drop inside the assets folder wait i need to select the assets folder and then i'll just drag and drop it and next inside uh, from this png we require this ufo green dot png again you can choose whatever you feel like uh, doesn't you don't have to follow me next we will create a 2d scene and here we will just create a node 2d uh, we will name it as uh, level 1 okay and then we will just save so here i will create one more folder called scenes uh, just for organization purpose and here i will just save it and inside then uh, we'll have to take texture rect so here and what i'll do is that i'll make sure it occupies the entire width and height next i'll take uh, this dark uh, this purple dot png and just drag it inside the texture and here you can see the image is stretched doesn't look really nice so inside this stretch mode we will set it to tile so now we it, you can see that it is the image is getting repeated that's what we want and if you quickly want to run this you can just click on this uh, uh, run project icon then select current and here you should see uh, this is uh, running so the next thing which we'll have to do is we'll have to click on this plus button over here then we'll have to create 2d scene and here i will just change the root node uh, to okay change type i can't see yeah change type and i'll say change it to rigid body 2d okay i'll just uh, name this as player and over here i'll add one more node inside this uh, rigid body 2d called sprite 2d P R I T Sprite 2D and inside Sprite 2D we'll just drag and drop our UFO icon so I'll just drag it to the texture I'll quickly save this as well so I'll just name it as player.tscn okay so the next thing which we will do is add a collision shape to our player so I'll just search for collision shape 2D and I'll just zoom in over here for my uh, sprite and inside collision shape 2d you will have to select circle shape because our sprite is of circle shape so I'll just select on circle shape now here you will see something like a green background or green circle being created I'll just click on this particular dot I'll just drag it to occupy the entire texture of our player I'll quickly save it as well now the next thing which we will do is that we will add our player to our level level one so I'll select level one 
then you will have to select on this particular icon link icon select your player and here you can see the player was added now i can just select this player and i move it anywhere in this level one also i will name this texture rect as background and i'll uh, go to ordering i'll set the z index as minus 100 so the next thing which we will do is we will be attaching script to our level one as well as our player now to attach script i can just select level one i can click on this icon and it will uh, give it some name i'll just click on create it will automatically create a script for me you uh, next i'll go to the player uh, at the top you might see something called 2d if you click on script you will see your script if you click on 2d you will see your uh, like the 2d uh, game which you are creating and if for player also i'll select it and i'll click on the script icon and the name is player that's fine i'll click on click on create so the next step which we have to do is we will have to go to our player.gd script then we can just remove all this because we need to make use of other function called physics process so i'll just type physics process and this method is by default present inside uh, this rigid body so we are overriding this method now uh, what we will do next step is we'll go to project project settings go to input map we need to add some actions like uh, i want the player to move left right top down so for that what you can do go to input map add some actions now i'll just enter right okay i'll press on enter now on which key you want the user to move right so i can just click on this plus button i can select my right arrow key and i click on ok similarly i'll do it for left i'll enter click on this plus button click on my left arrow key then click ok similarly for up i'll click enter i'll click plus button i'll select the up arrow key click ok and similarly for down as well i'll click enter click the plus button select the down arrow key and click ok i'll close this then inside the code over here what you will have to write is you have to write if input input dot is action pressed is action pressed okay there is is action just pressed as well so be careful with this and here you can select anything right and once right button is pressed we want it we want it to move to the right right so for that you can just do apply force vector 2 and here you can pass 0 comma force whatever force you want and here i can just enter some value for our force variable suppose thousand similarly uh, you will have to do it for uh, up down and left as well so just to save time i'll copy paste this code i'll click down i'll click left and i'll click up as well and next what you have to do is we need to make some changes inside our apply force vector too so if it is right this should be force comma zero if it is down then uh, it should be uh, zero comma force which is correct if it is left it should be uh, minus force comma zero and if it is up uh, then it is uh, zero comma minus force now what i can do is i'll quickly save this and i can click on the run button and uh, here i'll quickly go to player so our player was falling so for that you will again have to go to player and inside properties you can just search for gravity you can make this as zero you can again run your app and here you can see now if you move your left right top arrow keys 
you should be able to move your player now uh, the force you can change it to whatever you like i have purposefully kept it as thousand so that it might be little difficult for the player to control our pl uh, actual player for the user to control our actual player